Well, let's we'll see if we can get this pad off of there, off the porch. Can't quite reach it. So close. Oh, look at that. So close. Uh, I can't go up any further. Up against the brick. Well, different angle there. Down. Ah. Try to make sure I don't get under that thing when that pad comes down. Not too bad so far. Not in the house, that's a good sign. Jump behind me. Never enough room. So I have a cement pad at home. I've literally moved it three times. Yeah. I keep relocating it. Like, oh, I'd rather it be here. And later call another idea. Things probably was poured in 1992 and then moved three times and it's now well, it's in two pieces now instead of one but it's still a viable piece of concrete right now it's for my log splitter spin 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 there you go I know I won't be able to lift this guy up <laughs> Put it up against the blade and try, but I doubt it. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah. see the blade won't even, you probably can't see it, but my front blade won't even lift. Nope. Too much pad for this little machine. We gotta figure out where I wanna put this thing. What are the odds of me being able to push this once I get it down on flat ground here? Anybody want to take bets? I'm doubtful. So I'm going to give it a try. Well, looky there. We're moving. Now, now we're stuck in the dirt. Ah, 
that's not the way I wanted you to go. I'll pull it from the other side. Put it in there. It's like a step, so you just have to jump in there. Put it in the breeze. So we're just going to start I want I was what is this in the woods? Sounds looks like it's old metal off the roof of the porch or something. Or is it rough? Oh, is that no it's stuck in weeds, that's all. Alright. What is that? Material? Oh. You know what that is. Well, it's either carpet or it's geotextile. I guess it was probably the carpet off the porch, concrete slab. They probably didn't use any geotextile around here. Here's me thinking they didn't do it right. Well, it looks like they got ash mixed in with it. Well, we found a burn pile in the back where they were burning every day. Throwing her ashes. Ashes. Buried. All right. Now we can hear me. Buried all the ashes back in the back. I think they found the bottom of the foot. Yep. There it is. Uh oh. Wall's moving. somewhere to go here. some soft ground.
some of that top stuff off. Just push it on the wall. I keep saying I'm impressed with what this machine does. That's a heck of a chunk of concrete there. hydraulic fitting. Bye-bye. Well, that's half of the foundation of that. <laughs> More brick that they had thrown down in there. Bunch of junk. Bunch of junk. they didn't want to do all this work when they did the rest of the foundation walls of the house fixed them all up didn't want to tear that porch up probably was halfway decent shape at the time I don't know when they did it 70s I don't know it kind of looks that way that would be my guess they did a lot of that basement work This is just a Friday afternoon, uh, one hour job here. Coming home from working with PC and JR and Josiah. Fixed the porch that was sagging, jacked it up. Just one of them old porches from the 18, well, probably 1912, something like that. Old house, city. The way they ran the joists back then. Instead of running them from the house out, they ran them parallel with the house. That's the way they did it. And then they ran their, uh, I guess a lot of those boards were cypress, they were tongue and groove, and they, they ran those from the end of the porch toward the house. And, uh, you know, they just, after a while, those porches sagged down. So, shored that up, timber locked it to the house. And then, uh, this is just a rental wanted it looking a little better all the boards uh, 
old boards on top where we're getting kind of rotted. So we uh, we just put some treated plywood on it. Yeah, treated plywood on top. And uh, looks pretty good. We'll quarter round around it. Works. It wasn't exciting, so I didn't take any video of it. Kind of a boring, boring day. Uh, that's where the steps used to be, so I, there's all kinds of junk in here. I wish I trimmed them trees back in a blown hose one of these days. Boom, the whole thing. Nice. I can keep a hold of it. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada boom, boom, boom. I got a mask on it. <laughs> as a plow. Uh, I'm coming up out of a hole so that don't help our mat. Nope, nope. nope. We're not going to do it. Not what I'm wanting to roll over. Uh, looking at the ground here. Well, uh, okay. That would be anyway. A hole. There's the problem. Get me some level ground. There we go. Maybe. Ride him, cowboy. Don't know where I want to keep this bat at.
That beautiful black soil. Mm -mm -mm. Like a nice garden. Nick the corner of it. Soupy mess right here, almost. Come on, Bessie. Just want you to shift it over a little bit. Nope. No dice. Well, at this point, I lost my audio. The camera was sitting on the outside of the machine and it had the wire going into it for the external lapel mic and a branch actually took the wire and pulled it out of the camera so have no audio but that's okay just about done here anyway just cleaning up a little bit along the side of the house it's very bad shape there along the house that's where the barn stone is all caved in and the only thing holding it's a little bit of parging of concrete on the outside of that wall so I had to be very careful not to knock the wall in and so we got that cleaned up for now and uh, coming back another day to dig that up and shore up that wall and get it all ready to actually concrete it and that's a big process so stay tuned and you'll actually get to see some interesting video on this coming up thanks for watching